Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bloody Chronicles. I am Mike, and today we continue on with discussion at the table with the crew. I made it on time, kind of. Not really, but I made it. But anyway, as we left off, murder isn't new. I agree. You know what isn't new? Death and taxes. People have killed for various reasons throughout history. Financial benefit, power, passion, you name it. Anything to satisfy their own sick, twisted desires. Yes, I understand clearly. Are we getting a history lecture now? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I had enough of history for one day. Keto, pay attention. Yes, yeah, stupid, pay attention. Y yes, boss, I'm listening. Something about murder, right? Death. Well, that's also true. Good job, but you're still not off the hook for the shoplifting case. Obviously. Darn it. Way to go, dude. I'm guessing you want bathroom duty too, Akito. I thought that was my job. Uh, no ma'am. Can we continue on about this death talk? Moving on. Every murder has a motive and every crime has a purpose. However, there are some cases where logic falls out the wayside. Does it now? Because I was going to say, logic is no such thing for any person that we deal with. Especially people like myself. For these murders, the only explanation is that the person is simply irredeemable. A truly wicked killer. Right. Not too long ago, we encountered a case involving a mysterious murderer known as Fumaki, whose gruesome crimes were motivated by his own sick desires. I remember that case. No, I don't. The next few slides will show you how capable this man is. Ooh, slideshow. All the horrifying acts he would commit, just for exhilaration alone. Okay, just in case, guys, I'm going to make this screen gray so you can't see any violence because then I will probably get yelled at so viewer discretion is advised um sorry for going off topic here boss but aren't we supposed to talk about the phantom shut up this is about the phantom patience Akito everything in due time she's actually smart for this one Akito I think Suzumi is just trying to show us some similar cases so we can prepare for whatever is going to come our way it's called a build up what do you mean you see, when things are supposed to build up to the actual topic that we're actually talking about, we need suspense. We need certain things that relate to the topic. We don't have anything to go off in regards to the Phantom. Duh. Neither a motive, nor a method. We are starting completely from scratch. Sounds like my life. These cases may serve as a guideline of what to look for once we start our investigation on the Phantom. Right. Why? Karu's right. Looking at these previous cases can help us deal with the Phantom. Okay. I think it's just a waste of time, but that's just my opinion. Here we go again. What? Go hear me out. And why is that, Kazuki? I'm all ears. Well, you see, for one thing, Fumaki is nothing like the Phantom. This guy's at least had a pattern. We don't know anything about the Phantom. Come on, man. He's still a serial killer. That's something, at least. Yeah, so is Jeffrey Dahmer, but I mean, no one else is talking about him. That's besides my point. Think about it. We currently have six reported murders that are connected to the Phantom, but no one can figure out the pattern or motive behind them. The police have no clue on why he's committed these murders, or we don't, or who's the next unlucky victim might be. Which is precisely why we're doing this. We uh, may not have anything now, but if we keep going through our previous intel, we're bound to find something well, together. Yeah, I know. I think the reason behind these murders is not as cryptic as we think. Don't worry, guys. We'll be able to discover the truth of these cases in no time. And we're going behind your motive there, Akito? No, thank you. Awfully optimistic of you, Akito. But you do have a point there. Why? Why does he have a point? I'm glad you guys are fired up about this case. I'm not. However, let's just 
focus on Tumaki for now. Thank and you. See if we can piece together. I don't think we'll get through everything uh. today, but we can always continue it tomorrow. Oh, that's the point. Sound good? Yes. Sounds great. Come on. Let's work on the Phantom case already. Can this guy just go to bathroom duty? I don't want to deal with him here. Idiot. I just said. Yeah. Does that mean yes? No. No. And stop being annoying. You know, when a girl gets to that point, we have to recommend just shutting up there, Keto. It was worth a shot. You fail at getting a girl. Any other stupid questions? Oh, my director says I cannot answer, ask any stupid question. Well, um, do we have snacks? <laughs> just kidding. Nothing else for now. I just ate. For now. Yeah, for now. Well, what if I have questions later? <laughs> oh, can we just go out with this? Big bro, stop giving Susan me a hard time. That's my job. I'm supposed to get it a hard time, if you know what I mean. What? I can't have questions? Like, what if the murderer is killing someone with a rubber chicken? What? Moving on. Thank you. Zumi sits down in her chair as the room blinds go down. A video footage starts to play on the screen. For your discretion to advise, cue the gray screen. Is the camera ready? Or not. Why are we... Where's the camera? Yes. Almost. Hurry up. I'm not going to stand here forever. It's too late. You're staying here forever. Calm down, man. Great work. Let's start this thing. Keep the camera rolling, okay? Case number 48 slash 15. Fumiaki, are you getting this? No. Yeah. Oh, shit. Ugh. What's that smell? That's just gas. The victim, Sakura. Hey, take a close look at the body. Zoom in right here. See that? You know, every time there's always someone named Sakura, it's never the right Sakura that we like. Like Sakura for Naruto. No one likes her. The victim's body is tied up and twisted to resemble a butterfly. Look at the spine. How? Yeah, I see it. Oh, that's, that's really sick. And kind of impressive at the same time. Uh, dude? I didn't know you had a fetish for crime scenes, pal. Yeah, this is getting a little bit weird. Can we not just go on the Riz moment? Anyway, along the thoracic and lumbar vertebrae, we can see other limbs, which are probably from previous victims. Okay. Quiet. Go away. There are also pieces of leather, too. Possibly a synthetic version made from... Ugh, another human. It's sewn into her to imitate a butterfly wing. I guess... Get a shot of this place. I feel like this is the butterfly effect of my own time. What the? Look at the walls. There are butterflies everywhere. I... I get it. What is it? A butterfly? Look here, on the calendar. The 23rd is marked in blood. Why? That's my birthday. The date for the next murder, perhaps? No. Most likely. We're going to have to alert the higher-ups. Okay. Well, that means we only have, uh, ten more days to catch him. Kind of, not really. I know that. I'm not stupid. Check under your feet. Make sure you didn't step on anything. I didn't step in anything. No worries, I've got this. He stepped in something. Check thoroughly. He stepped in something. Hey. What? What? Uh, did you have any dirt on your shoes before you came in here? Oh, God. Yeah, like that. Then I think I might have stepped on something. <sighs> Wasn't dirt. Damn it. I just told you to watch out. Wait, what's that? Not sure. Is this mud? Take a whiff, I dare you. Mud? Quick, take a sample of it. It's not mud. Already on it. He's gonna puke in it. Agent 1 crouches down next to the victim. There's no... Oh, victim's body. There's no video footage yet. Hey, there's a little mud on the victim's body, too. It's mixed with... blood. 
Hey, give me a hand with this. I want to check something. Sure thing. Okay. Can you try to raise his hand up? Yeah, like like that. Hold it. I'm holding. Hmm. What is it? A hand. Give me your camera. I need to record this. Okay. Can you at least tell me what's going on? Yeah, I feel like Agent 2 right now. What's going on? There's something under the arm right here. I can't see the entire thing, but... What could it be? Shh. Movie. Shut up. Maybe the killer left something behind? It's another butterfly. Aww. I can't see what it is. Why? Because you're short? Quiet! Sorry. It's... It's... A butterfly. Feather. <laughs> Told you. It's a rubber chicken. No. Shut up. A chicken feather? Well, what does that mean? It means Captain Cluckers on a loose. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. We're getting closer to solving this case. This has been our biggest lead so far. Okay, you don't say. You really think we can stop him? Nope. I hope we can. How can anyone be so cruel to go and do something like this? Because people are stupid and crazy. Yeah, this is twisted. You uh, think the death penalty is enough for whoever did this? Obviously. I don't know. People who commit crimes like this aren't human. They're trash. In my opinion, they deserve the worst punishment available. Fact. No question about that. Oh, crap. The camera's on. Don't forget to cut that stuff out later. I don't think our supervisor will want to hear a little commentary on the criminal justice system. Well, it's pretty fair to say that I sent it already to your supervisor, so... Sorry. Right. Alright, so just take a few photos of the arm, and... After a few minutes of taking a photo of the arm. Okay. Now, help me get her on her back. Ew. You got it? Yeah, I'm all set. He put up what you put down. Okay, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Yeet. Ugh. Oh, crap. She's, she's a heavy one. Wow, well, that's something you shouldn't say to a woman. Ugh, what is that? It's... What, what happened to her? Her spine got twisted to a butterfly. Damn, that's new. What? Where are her organs? Where is this going? I don't know. Look at this. Her chest is sewn, but her belly is left wide open. Take a picture. We need to get this, too. I'm kind of confused. Yeah, yeah, I know. This gives me the creeps, man. <laughs> He's gonna puke. <sighs> okay, okay. I'm ready. He's gonna puke on the body. Alright, let's record this. As you can see, her internal organs have been extracted, and with great precision, too. That makes no sense. It's all cleaned out. Whoever did this knew exactly what he was doing. He's a doctor, apparently. Maybe our killer's a doctor. I just said that. More likely a surgeon. The same thing as a doctor. In the same field. Uh, right. One of those. Uh, it, yes. Sorry, but how much longer is this video? Why? <laughs> Why? Does little Akito have to go wee wee? I kind of have to go to the bathroom. Stop teasing me! I need to take a piss! Well, it's mature enough to say we're piss. Are you kidding me? Stopping a baby and ask me nicely. Miss Izumi, can I go to the bathroom? Even a baby would behave better than Akito. Wow. I'm trying to watch the video and you guys are talking. Big bro is a baby. Yeah, he is. You're one to talk. You still need to ask permission to go out at night. Right. Look, we don't need to hear about your personal business. <sighs> Settle down, everyone. Go use the restroom, Akito. Everyone else, eyes back on the video. Okay. So where do we go from here? I don't know. Something doesn't seem right. I feel like we're still missing some clues. 
There's got to be more to this. Like? Well, from what we know, the killer selects the victims according to their hobbies. So, with this victim being obsessed with butterflies, she enjoys nature. Yeah, we got that thanks to previous cases. Nonetheless, it irks me how we always happen to miss him somehow. Why? It's like he's playing hide and seek with us. That's the point to any criminal. The tape goes black and pops up again after a while. Why? I don't know. I can't believe this. We spent three hours discussing who the hell knows what's in there. And instead of asking about other things, he asked me about spiders. I had no clue what he's talking about. So then he told me to look over here. So technically there's, I would say according to this thing, 21 sp butterflies on the wall. I counted. I didn't really count that one on top, so technically it would be 22. There has to be an obsession with all these butterflies looking familiar with one another. The camera zooms in on the horde of butterflies on the wall. Yes, me. What do you see? I see a horde of butterflies. What do I see here? I'll tell you what, butterflies. I just said that. But then, then he tells me, look a little closer. The camera zooms in even more. Now this little fellow looks like a butterfly at first, but if you take a closer look, you see it's actually a blue spider. We're talking about the thing in the corner, right? That corner one? Yeah, we're talking about that. That's a spider? It's bird bunt spider. That's why we think the next victim could be a spider collector. Well, or what's maybe a... someone dealing with arachnids. I don't know. The problem lies in how we can go about protecting the next victim. We can't exactly go around and say... Siri, send me a photo of a blue bun spider. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. That's sick. I don't think exactly it was the photo, but that's okay. If you collect spiders... Fetish for creatures with eight legs. Call us for protection. You might be the next target on a. Okay, uh, editor, show a photo of a blue bun spider just in case no one else saw it like I did. Boom. Blue bun spider. Like blue lobster. Cut it out. I see your point. Wait, you recorded our conversation, didn't you? Yes, he did. Yeesh. Well. At least we have some kind of clue to help us locate the next victim. Yeah. We just need to see if there are any exhibitions or museums nearby that have spiders on display. Too bad these d d agents did not get another job after this. Yeah. All right, we're done for today. Don't forget to edit the tape. Tell the others they can take the body for closer examination now. Okay. Roger that, partner. Case 4815, end of broadcast. The screen turns black, and blinds start to go back up. Okay, any questions? I have a question. Do these agents actually still have jobs? I'm just asking for a friend. The door opened, and Akito came back. What did I miss? That's a good question. That wasn't the question I was hoping for. Well. I really want to kill you sometimes, Akito. Told ya. Huh? What was that, boss? She said nothing. Uh, just sit down, and don't forget, you're not working on this case. What case? Man, why do I always have to miss out on the fun stuff? I'm confused. Anyways, does anyone have any more questions? What is spider? What do spiders and butterflies have in common? Oh, uh, I have one, for real this time. You better not say that you forgot to flush the toilet. Oh, that was me. I forgot to do that. What? No. Actually, I think I forgot to. Damn it, that was my job. That's it. I I'm gonna... No, you're not. Just ask the question. Moving on. I noticed that the tape wasn't edited. Is there a specific reason why they didn't edit the tape? Because you're not allowed to forge any tape that involves investigation that is strictly illegal that can screw the agents, the agency and the people who are involved in it in this murder case. So, you can't forge footage. 
Maybe they had a bad video editor, or it could be they just forgot to. If you were put in charge of editing that tape, it would be the latter. Uh -huh. Very funny, Kazuki. What? I spoke the point, other than my others respected before. Save your comedic squabble for after work, you two. I... What so you... Does anyone else have any more questions? How did they catch the killer in the end? Now that's the question I was waiting for. First, tell me what you noticed. What are your thoughts on this particular case? I believe this killer has a purpose of killing someone based on hobbies. Hmm. There was mud, a chicken feather, missing internal organs, a marked date, and a spider symbol hidden in the assemblage of butterflies. And also don't forget that everything was twisted like a butterfly. The victim that had sewn limbs shaped like a butterfly wings, those limbs belonged to the previous victims, correct? Yes. All of the previous victims' bodies were found with their limbs severed. The police were unable to locate them before this murder case turned up. Okay. The agents also said that the organs were carefully removed with surgical precision. So he's a doctor. Okay, but what about the chicken feather? Could it be connected to a farm somehow? does have a point. Yes, exactly. Very good. All of these clues are instrumental in understanding Fumaki's state of mind. That's clucked up. What about the marked date? I didn't see the marked date. It was the first clue to be discovered. Oh wait, the 23rd. Fumaki has never marked the date for his next murder before. Unless he was marking it because he knows my birthday's in September 23rd. Yes. I guess he was getting more confident. Well, that didn't work. I think he got cocky. He started to believe he was above everyone else and developed a god complex. I hate to say it, but he let his confidence get to him. And as a result, he became careless. Man, he really let it slip. Wait a second. Do you think this could happen with the Phantom? I don't know. Why are we still talking about the Phantom? Yeah, it totally could. Everyone's bound to make a mistake sooner or later. Welcome to my life. Perhaps. For now, the Phantom is doing a fine job in eluding everyone. And no one knows who his next victim might be. Furthermore, uh, his motives and crime methods still remain unclear. Why? We all get lost in our thoughts. After a few minutes, Aki brings us all back on track with her initial question. So, um, did they end up... Him? Like I said before, the evidence from this case contributed to his eventual arrest. Two particular clues were instrumental in his capture. Can you guess which ones? The chicken, rubber chicken feather, the chicken feather, and the mark date. I bet it's the chicken feather. I just said that. Surprisingly, yes. Uh, good job, Akito. What about the mud? It seems random. I mean, it could do with the foot track. You get maybe there's a foot track on it. You're correct. That was the other clue. Oh, so the mark date meant nothing. I'm guessing the mud meant the victim was held outside the city. Yes. And the chicken feather meant that the crime took place in a slaughterhouse, right? Very nice. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, okay. So it wasn't a doctor. It was just someone who does his stuff for a living with, like a butcher. Well, that's great and all, but trying to search for an abandoned farm outside the city would take forever. How you know? The area is huge, and it would take weeks just to narrow the places down. Okay. <laughs> that would be true, except... Remember the other piece of evidence? The mark date. What? That mud we mentioned earlier was analyzed shortly after this video. He it had high concentrations of potassium and magnesium salts, which are usually found near Rippling Lake. Right. Oh, that definitely narrows down the area. Once you have all the facts piece it together, it's easy. Wow, great minds think alike. I was going to say that. No, you weren't. Shut up. Sure you were. Oh, thank you, Karu. Anyway, the murderer held his victim in an abandoned farm, so no one could interrupt his work. After 
it was done, he either tossed the body in an abandoned warehouse, construction site, or demolition site. Then why was it in a place with butterflies? He also fabricated an alibi during this time. Okay. So what happened afterwards? Once the possible locations were narrowed down, the agents were able to find three farms there. Okay. However, only two were abandoned. They split into groups and waited for the suspect to show up. Okay. On the night of the 23rd, Kumaki arrived in a big van and exited the vehicle while dragging a bag with him. The agents were then able to capture Kumaki on the spot. They also found the victim in the back. Alive or dead? I'm guessing the victim was already dead. Unfortunately. I called it. What about Fumiaki? Who was he? Fumiaki. It turned out he was a former butcher and had also worked as a breeder in the poultry market. I he called the word the butcher. So perfect. Well, yeah, duh. The tools for his murder were also found in the farmhouse. Okay. What about his motive? Did he explain that? He called himself an artist and collector. Thus, the missing body parts for some of the victims. Tongues, eyes, fingers, organs. Mm. He collected them as if they were trophies. That's weird. Ah, uh, I see. The police found all the parts in his house. Right. That's really scary. It's a little grotesque, but I mean... Well, it's over. It's too bad there's not much we can do about it. I know. No, you're wrong. We are doing something. We are helping make this world a better place by tracking and catching these criminals. We will make this world a better place no matter how difficult things will get. She has a point. I agree. Anyway, uh, that's it for Fumaki. I think we should move on. Okay. Wait, now I remember. What? You scared me, big bro. And stop yelling. We're in the office. That's a good point. Regular voices, please. Sorry, I got excited, okay? So, where was I? Oh, right, oh, right. I was thinking about that girl who was murdered. You know, the one that looked like a butterfly. Okay. You mean Sakura? Yeah, Sakura. Yeah, so I was on the toilet, pooping. Why do you start a sentence like that? That's my line. Too much information there, Akito. Don't you have a filter? <sighs> No one has a filter. Huh? <laughs> As I was saying, I thought, I'm sure I saw this before. Your poop? What? You've seen Sakura somewhere before? Huh? No, not that. I saw this movie once where a girl turned into a butterfly and... Of all the things you said today, this has to be the most idiotic comment ever. I said worse, so Karu, I think... I've not taken a trophy today. Uh, seriously? You were thinking about this while you were in the restroom? Hey, sometimes you think about a lot of things in the restroom, nurse, Suzumi. Big bro, I think you need to go to the hospital later. There could be something wrong with your head. That's obvious. I'm serious, you guys. Don't joke around. Hey, Kazuki, you've seen it too, right? It was on TV. Right, I totally seen it before. Sorry, but I don't watch crap. I only poop crap. Are you sure you didn't pay extra for the psycho package? Man, you can be such a jerk. I've been told worse. All right, for the next. Oh, what sentence did Fumiaki receive? Death. He was sentenced to double life imprisonment. I doubt we'll see him in the near future. So he didn't get death? Tough luck. Okay, on to the phantom case. Are we on the phantom case? Akito. Are we on the phantom case? What? Did I say something wrong? Are we on the phantom case? Do you have any documents pertaining to the grocery store break-in? Okay, well, since we're talking about a different thing, let's end the episode here, guys. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, guys, subscribe to the Finn Gaming. Also, subscribe to Finn React, where I'll be posting other videos. As always, guys, if you haven't yet, give this video a thumbs up. Comment below if you want to see more channels. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I am signing out.